When your store and your site itself are set up, it's time to configure the payment methods for your customers. We do this at Stores, Configuration, and scroll down a bit to find Sales. And then at the bottom of Sales, you'll find Payment Methods. Go ahead and click on that. And the first thing you're going to do is select your country that you're operating out of. For us, or in my case, at least that'll be the United States. Then, as you'll see, there are a lot of payment options. You probably don't want to use everything, so you don't confuse your customers. There is some information here describing the difference between some of these options, especially the various PayPal options. But you should do your own research on these things to figure out what's ideal for your operation. The most commonly used options would be the PayPal options as well as Braintree. If you're not familiar with Braintree, you should look into it. It's owned by PayPal and accepts PayPal and credit card payments. And it is a pretty robust payment acceptance solution. But again, use what makes the most sense for you after you've done your research. To enable one or more of these payment methods, you'll find the payment method that you want to use. Let's say we want to use Braintree as one of our methods. Click Configure. That'll open up some more information to fill out. This is all of your Braintree account information. Note you also have Sandbox and production environment options. Of course, Sandbox would be for testing and development. Once you're done and you confirmed everything is working, you want to switch that to production so that payments will actually go through. For payment action, you'll see different options here for different solutions. With Braintree, we have authorize or authorize and capture. In most cases, you're probably going to want to use authorize and capture. Authorize basically tells Braintree or PayPal or whatever it is that the sale has gone through and the customer's payment method has been authorized and you have to manually capture that payment as it's called or receive the payment. If you choose authorize and capture, then as the customer goes through the payment process and submits all their information, once that's authorized by Braintree or PayPal or whatever the service is, you'll go ahead and capture that into your account. It'll be sent to your account automatically and you don't have to kind of go get that money manually. It's usually best to stick with the provided title for clarity. This way your customer knows exactly what it is that, that this option accommodates. If they see credit card, and you can even delete Braintree if you want, but we'll just leave this as is. If your customer sees credit card, they know what that means. If you just had Braintree, for instance, most customers are going to have no idea what that means. So by using credit card as the title, that tells them, okay, this is the option to use if I'm paying with a credit card. Once you've entered in your information for your Braintree account or... If you're using a PayPal account, your PayPal account, whatever it may be, you have to enable the solution, which will not be grayed out anymore at that point. And then you may have a couple of other options here, as you can see, depending on the service that you've chosen. Some of the options here will say vault enabled, and you can choose yes or no. This refers to the ability for the payment service to save customers' payment information if the customer opts to do so, so that they don't have to type it in each time. That's what Vault is, if that's confusing at all to you. Then, for various services, you may have advanced settings, which generally are for more advanced users. In this case, we have country-specific settings, payment from applicable countries, payment from specific countries, et cetera, et cetera. In most cases, you're going to be fine configuring just the basic settings. You might want to take a glance at the advanced settings to see if there's anything that catches your eye anything specific to the service you're using, things like that. But for the most part, basic is what you're going to be looking for. And of course, along with Braintree and PayPal, you have several other options for payment methods. You have check and money orders, bank transfers, etc. Once you've input your account information for PayPal or Braintree or whatever it is, and you've finished configuring your payment methods, don't forget to go back up and click Save Config, otherwise you're going to lose all of your settings and have to do it all over again. And that's really all there is to setting up your payment methods.